So let's check this out. Okay, this is a guy, a guy that sent me his resume. Uh, so first things first, this is cool. I like it to be a little bit more centralized. For me, nitpicking because of space reasons. Now, I don't like, I don't like this right here. I feel like it's too high. Uh, I believe this should be at the bottom. Now, though you have projects right here, every recruiter that sees this doesn't have time to click on this thing and go review this project. So. I would advise you summarize the project and then also they still have to get her a link if they want to look at it for some more. So summarize these projects, four or five bullet points, and then get out your way. Now, when it comes to this, let's look at this experience real quick. Created and made public tutorials on the following topic. You should put topics right there. There's a little typo. Microsoft Azure Creative Network. Okay, so I'm trying to see. Hang on, self-employed. I think this is. It's not necessarily speaking to everything you would do, like in a, a help desk role right here. So you definitely want to make this be a little bit more achievement based. Um, let's see. Also, you want to start every sentence with an action verb. Let's see. Okay. All right. This is not bad right here. It's not bad at all. Let's go to this one. You know, I, that's why I'm saying my critique was like, hey, have action verbs on here. Um, asset protection manager. This is good too. Develop. Um, like I said, the same thing. Now, here's the issue too. Skills should not be this low. Your skills actually should be where your education is. And I'm going to tell you why. Because like I said, recruiter got six, seven seconds to get on here and look at this. And they want to see your skills. Like I said, they're not going to click on this. They're just going to keep on scrolling down. And sometimes I do embellish. If I got some guys that doing help this stuff, I might change the IT analyst or sys admin based on what they did. So you want to make, like what I do is I have guys, we'll label, I'll label their experience or say achievements. So I'll make it like something they achieved in the role and so it, it looks like it's a little bit more highlight versus you are an extraordinary professional versus just kind of like the bullet points it's just a little razzle dazzle that's all it is but all in all i don't really find nothing wrong with the format simple is good a lot of times people get caught up in trying to make things real pretty but that don't really help you uh with doing anything so i would say you just need to highlight this a little bit more because people don't have time to do all this stuff like i said when you do the job applications 